cut the shivers Whenever I'm thinking about you Welcome back everyone to Reviving Salvage We're back in the garage for this one We're doing work on the Mini Cooper sidewalk So we've had the parts back from the paint shop So we're going to just crack on and get the new parts fitted And I'll explain a bit more what's going to be happening with the car uh, But before we do anything, the usual guys, don't forget to subscribe Press that notification bell and you'll never miss an upload Don't forget to uh, join me on my uh, social media sites on Instagram and Facebook Reviving underscore salvage Take a look on there and I upload daily sneak peeks of what's coming to the channel and what I'm doing on a daily basis And you don't normally get to see that on YouTube Thanks for watching and let's crack on on what we're doing today on the mini sidewalk As you can see, born it is still where we left the car and everything else is where we left it when we got in the garage on the last video if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch that first, guys. The car is now moving, so that's great. We can maneuver it around the place. But ultimately, I needed it in the garage. The bonnet has come back, the blue bonnet I had sprayed. So it was sprayed off the car, so I'm hoping it'll match pretty good. We've got that to fit today. And I'm hoping that'll make a massive difference to the car. She's looking beautiful, I've got to be honest. I'm falling in love with this little car. It doesn't come uh, ready to go, mind. It's got a lot of problems and I've a lot of research into these cars. They do have a lot of problems and a lot of them are oil leaks, which this one does suffer from. So we're going to be sorting out the oil leaks as well, guys. Uh, I've got the boot, the boot lid to fit. The bumper's there. It's come up nice. It needed the repairs on, the, on, the, on there, on there, and there all being repaired i've also got the boot lid which is there the car the garage is starting to fill up with a lot of car parts so off the freelander project if you haven't seen that go back and watch that one guys i'll give her a little sneak peek at what the freelander looks like there she is but if you haven't seen the video on that go back and watch that there's a new plans for that car which i'm not going to go into on this one because this is obviously the mini one but go back and watch that one guys i've got the boot there that is ready to go on I've got all these parts lying around and the worst thing about it when they're lying around like this they're gonna get scratched so the first thing i'm gonna do is get the boot lid back on so that's out the way i can then move the car back because i've got quite a bit of room left in the garage move the car back i need to jack it all back up i'm going to take off the subframe everything else again and we need to inspect the oil leaks where they're coming from we'll also fit the bonnet today and i've also got a new slam surround because the old one is damaged but we'll go into that later on like i've rambled enough let's crack on you didn't see me take this off guys because it was obviously in the rain it was on the drive it wasn't a very nice stay so i'll do the reverse of taking it uh, taking it off and putting it back on for you guys now and hopefully it should close and line up nice we'll see you first let's get that Okay, I've got me, but it looks pretty cool now. If you remember, if you go back to the last videos, like I keep saying, 
you would have seen all this at the top is all rusted it's all been resprayed i think with these boots i can't remember but you have got to give her a bit of a slam but it's a lot better than it was so that's that bit done i didn't want to go too much into detail there Oh. Sorry guys, this car's gonna have a good clean anyway. Let's put these. I've seen these, you can get them in chrome as well, which are nice. Some some people don't like I'm sure they're the right way. Once this car has a good clean. There you have it. What do you think guys? Boot is done. Looks really nice to be honest. Well happy with that. Boot is done, so that's one panel out of the way. What I'm gonna do now is I've got room to play with. Now I wanna put all my stuff back and move the car back. So we've got more room at the front because obviously a lot of the majority of the work of this will be at the front of the car anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna do that now, I think. Let's have a look if there's anything else left in the boot. It's all the parts from the, the wheels, I think, are in the boot. So she still does doesn't shut properly. Anyway guys, let's crack on now and uh, we'll move this, I'll move all this out the way here and I can move this car back a bit, give us a little bit more room at the front. Okay, now we've got quite a bit of room to play with in the garage now, so it looks pretty. I, lo I love this little car in the garage, it looks cool. There yeah, guys, it's pretty cool, we've got the bumper there. Obviously I don't want it to get damaged, and I've got the bonnet there, so we don't want it to get damaged, and the brand new slam panel. If you look on the floor there guys, you can see signs of a light, a leak, it's quite... It's quite a bad leak actually. We've got to tackle that. We've got to take off the front of the car apart anyway. But before I do all that, I want to replace this bonnet, guys. Only because I don't want that to get damaged. That there. We'll get rid of this one. Take it off. Because if I get scratched, it doesn't matter. It's already damaged. And we'll put that one on. That's out of the way. And then we can crack on with taking the front off, the radiator off. Obviously, it's going to be jacked right up. I want to get right underneath it so we can have a good look. I've also got to retake the subframe off because I want to treat it because it was a bit rusty and I want to treat it all, make sure it's all uh, all done tidy and there's no issues with this car at all. Being an 08 plate car, if I ever come to sell it, then I, I want peace of mind that the next person who owns this car is not going to have any issues at all with this car. So everything is done. I've already done the bushes and the ball joints. That's all done. I am very tempted to do the clutch. I think it's leaking from the sump and other places. So if you're going to do all that, you might as well change the thermostat and whatever else then it comes with it because the engine's going to be in bits. So you might as well do it while we're here, guys. Spend a little bit of extra time and a little bit of money just to make sure this car is sweet because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to see it come in. My wife is going to end up keeping this car for a bit anyway. I would have thought. She's going to be whizzing around in it. I want it, I want it nice anyway. Not just for her, but for whoever owns it next. It will go eventually because I should imagine she'll probably get bored. Uh, she's like me, she can't keep nothing for long. So we'll crack on now and get this bonnet off, guys. Yeah, guys, that was tough. If I didn't put that cardboard each side, I probably would have damaged that. Uh, so I'm glad I done that. 
Okay, that's on a minute. It's not secure enough. I've just got to do the other bolts up and start putting all the wiring back in. Then we can focus on the engine part, but and we can get the lights in and see how nice it looks, is it, guys? So I'm a bit out of breath a minute. That was quite heavy on my own. Let's get the, the little screws and things now and start putting all this back together. Like you're supposed to, guys, I keep everything when I'm doing a car, even the broken bits. Because, like that bit there, that bit's broken, but it does have a screw in it, like, and I'm probably going to need at some point. So you never know, guys, when you're going to need stuff. So I think that's just come off the back, come off the boots, we need to put that back on. Even got them, to fit into it. But first of all, let's get these, let's get these in. So it, the, boot, the boot is, ah, uh, the boot. The bonnet is secure then, guys. Okay, that is now secure. Let's have a look, what I can, go have a look, guys. What, what she looks like now. Come on, let's have a look, we got her. Tested it once and it went down. Tell me what you think of that now, guys. Isn't she beautiful? Like a lot of you said, oh shit, sorry. A lot of you have said you've got a hole in there now, which is for the intercooler on a, on a Cooper S. I'm just going to let water in. I know. It's only for locks. So this will be blocked up properly, so no water can get in there and affect anything in the engine bay. She does look nice, mind. And see, uh, and the colour match is pretty spot on there. It's going to need lining up, obviously. But she looks good. Fair play, she looks good. Uh, I definitely like that scoop. Looks cool, and I'm going to. Um, Put the Cooper style stripes on it. Black with probably a, 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 like a silvery grey lining on them. I think they're going to look really cool and set the car off. It's going to look nice this car once it's done, guys. But fair play. Bonnet's on and it's starting to look more like a car again. Sadly, we're going to rip it apart. But there you go, that's what we do. Make sure everything's done properly now. Tell me what you think of the colour, guys. Look at that colour match. Obviously the car is dirty as well, so the car needs a good clean, probably need a good buff and this will probably need a cut back, I would have thought, just to cut the lacquer down a bit. But fair play, very nice, well happy with that, it'll do. Well, that bonnet was in a hell of a state guys, it was scratched to hell. She's looking nice. Okay guys, the wiring for the washer jets is all in. The headlights, I'm going to put the headlights in now and then I can line up where the wire is supposed to go. I can't remember. That's the thing when you potch your with cars uh, and you leave them for a while and move on to something else, you tend to forget where things go. I'm going to get the headlights now. Okay, we got one headlight here. Get the screws on for that, guys. Guys, let's have a look at what she looks like with the lights in. Wow, what a difference, guys. Look at that. What a nice little looking little car. Totally different with the headlights in.
Okay guys, right, the car has been jacked up. Uh, I didn't, there's no point me filming all that. You've seen it all before guys. So the car is up in the air now, ready for me to get underneath. What we're gonna do now is obviously it's got an oil leak. It's, it's probably leaking from a few places. Notorious, now that I've found out that they do leak quite a bit from every crevice. So, <laughs> uh, these cars, but I, you cannot sell it with an oil leak, guys, so it's simple as, isn't it? So I've got to take all the slam panel off because of all this is broken here. Like I said, the new one is there. I've got to replace it all, so it makes no difference. And that'll give you good access to all the other bits of the engine that you normally wouldn't be able to get to. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to start the car and we're going to have a little look underneath and see where all this, all the oil is coming from, or roughly. They are notorious from coming from the sensor on the front. So we'll have a little look at that and the sump. So we should start it up now and have a look. Before anyone says anything, please. I know they're dangerous guys, but I tuck them in every time I go underneath. Oh, I'm looking into the car now. As one of the uh, comments before said, they're very dangerous. So I totally agree. And they tucked away now guys, so I think we'll get caught. So come on, let's have a little look underneath. As you can see, quite moist on the air. I think a lot of that, you know when I said the power steering pump was leaking, I think a lot of it, it's just oil has run down and sprayed on there, onto the power steering. So I don't think that was actually leaking, but I have replaced all the pipes. All the subframes are going to come back off, so this rust, it's not the best guys. So we're going to take it all back off, give it a good clean, and we're going to paint it. So that's done. <laughs> we'll have a look there. Uh, I know I was best to show you guys. I'm going to get some glasses a sec, because I don't want any of this oil dripping in my eyes. Bloody state for safety first guys. Glasses on for underneath the car, just in case any of that oil does drip into the eyes. As you can see they're all brand new. All brand new. All brand new guys. Be careful. Definitely leaking for something up there. I think it's a crankcase sensor. So I think it's up there. So the only way we'll know is by taking the front off. Uh, it could be running down from the front and causing that trip there. Or it could be coming out to the bell housing and it's not leaking anywhere from the back, I can't see it. Okay, it's definitely, I would say, good practice to change. Look at that, guys, look. Definitely the sump is leaking. So it's leaking from the sump. And from up there. So what we're going to do now is we'll start taking... Let's get back out. We'll have a better look at what's going on in the front once we take off all the slam panel. And then we'll have a good a good access to what's going on then. So let's shut this engine off. As you can see, there's no way I can tell it like that, guys. No way at all. And you should know, whoever owns the car, all the major work has been done. After the Audi A1, guys, I can tell you now, Nothing will faze me. I took the gearbox out, never done one. So I'll probably, as, as like I said, we've changing all, all the front of that. While all the front is out, we'll probably just do all the major parts. Um, and I'll probably change the clutch while we're at it, guys, because why not? Let's throw some cash at this car, is it? Not only really, that, it's a nice little car, and I think, it, uh, I think it'll uh, do someone... Uh, well, I think it'll just be really nice for the summer and I want to get it done for the summer guys so we can we can use it as well for a little bit So Let's crack on now guys and take the front off the slam panel off Crash bar whatever you want to go 
I've already undone most of the box strip because I only wanted to get it up there into the garage anyway. is remove that that's stuck on there that's why it won't come off okay let me just do this stand guys okay looking at that that haven't been leaking a while guys of it friggin hell look at the build up there um, it's definitely coming up further up the engine. Uh, this is definitely quite a bad leak, actually. Um, normally leaks from that sensor there, the crankshaft sensor. I think that's what they call it there. I'm sure you guys will correct me. I have, I did research. It, it's a common fault that it leaks from there. But looking at that, guys, it goes further up. So, and it's wet around this, around up there. So, we're definitely going to take, uh, definitely going to take the sump off, guys, because it's wet around there. You know is there you go, you can see it more. On there guys, that sump is definitely leaking. Another common fault I believe. Um, so the only consolation is look at the access you got now. Uh, so we're definitely gonna change that. That's probably one cause. That and because I'm gonna be changing the clutch, I'm gonna be changing the the sealant, the seal is in there as well. Oh, this is gonna be fun, guys. Gonna be fun. It's so leaking from, could be leaking from the slave cylinder, actually, as well. Could do, because I know when you've been pressing the clutch in, it is making a noise. Mm. I'm gonna dip the clutch now and tell me if you can hear anything. Throw out bearing, I would say.
I know you guys heard that. I'm gonna I'll play back to see what you could hear. Um, I'm gonna have a good clean up now in a minute. Uh, it's definitely wet around there, so I'm gonna take this air box off. Ah, it's not even on properly. So take this air box off. We'll have a look at that filter. Uh, see how see how well maintained it is. I love I love looking at the, the air filters and things. I know from experience of watching other people, you've got to take that off to get to the sump, I think, because it's bolted to the sump. Or just undo the bolts to it. It's quite a, it's quite a lot of work involved in taking the sump off. I know that. So we're just gonna crack on, guys, and strip it down. But that will be for another episode. Like this was the, just to have a good look of where. It's leaking from and order some parts for it. So I'm gonna I wanna see what's underneath this. So we're gonna disconnect the battery, take this off, start stripping a few things down and I'm a good luck. But it's definitely leaking from there. Uh definitely from the sump. It's probably gonna leak from the bell housing and I reckon that slave cylinder is looking a bit like it's been leaking. And we're just going to change things guys, and it's going to be a decent car. Thermostat, to probably change the thermostat while you're in here, yeah. might as well. But we got some really good access to the clutch and that now. It's a shame about these aircon pipes. I don't want to disconnect the aircon. I think it was working, the air conditioning. So it's going to be full of gas and I don't want to be undoing all that. Let's get this air box off. Pretty clean, guys. Ah, it's been changed recently, anyway. And the shaft the way. Oh, look, guys, it's definitely got a leak of some sort from here, but I can't make out where from. Could be from the top of this. Uh, it's definitely very, very light. Hmm. Apart from that, that's fine. Could be leaking from there. Uh, I don't know. Right, we have done absolutely loads today, it looks like we've just made a mess. What I'm going to do now is we got that to rebuild, we can do our later because we got the new one there, or something else, so if we crack on and get, I don't know, I don't know what to do next. We've done the, we've done the bonnet, we've done the boot, and we've definitely got a leak and we've taken the front off. I think we leave the subframe for another video guys because we're going to be taking that off and refurbishing it and we're definitely going to have a look at these uh, oil leaks. I'm going to order some seals now, I'm going to order a clutch kit and all of, basically all the seals that need to be done and hopefully we won't have a problem then. So I am going to leave it there now guys for this video. I am starving, I'm going to go home and have some food and see how the land lies with the wife. If she's alright for me to come back up, then I'll come back up and carry on having a little look and film a bit more. If not, then home time it is and that basically in the house I'll be. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I said, if you haven't already, click that uh, subscribe button. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That also helps and I will see you all next time guys when we carry on dismantling this mini and hopefully start putting it back together at some point. Thank you. Bye guys.